Good morning everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Earthbound. So today we are going to go back a bit to the night of the meteor and if you remember rightly we visited a house with an old man stood outside of it and I'm not too sure what we're going to find there but I did forget to do it last episode so I thought I would go back and do it today since we don't really have a time schedule or we don't need to rush throughout this playthrough. I'd like to try and get everything we possibly can because after facing that hula hoop fucker we are going to experience a lot of hard enemies and if this old guy can give me an I think I would be very grateful. And yet, the second battle of the episode is already upon us. Die, you fucking bastard. Die. Oh shit, six damage. What will happen now? We got 29 damage and we have tamed the beast. It seems as though we can pretty much one shot everything in this area now. Also, I found out that hula hooping fucker was one of the sharks. That bastard didn't even tell us who he was. So we are going to get revenge on them at some point. So we do know where the sharks actually are. We just need to go back there and deal with them. Which may happen this episode or next, depending on how long this will take us. Hopefully we may just be able to talk to him and then we can get the fuck on out of here. Back to the sharks. But as you can see here, another spiteful crow has just been tamed. There's quite a lot of enemies around this section, but I guess this is the beginning of the game and it gives you some vital XP you need. So I'm not complaining. Not at all. Victory is ours already? Holy shit, that fucker died quick. Up here we go. If I remember rightly, the old man's house is just here. Is it a different colour now or is it just because it's daytime? It probably is. It looks like a house of gold. Let's see what's inside. Wow, we can go inside now. That bed's a bit torn up. Um, let's check it out, can we? Um, check. No problem here, but um, I, if you're sleeping on that, I think you do have a problem, mate. Um, let's check for drawers. Nothing. Hey, what's going on? I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Uh... Ah, I can tell by the look on your face you don't want to hang out, do you? Um, when I walk into a guy's house who looks older than me, I wouldn't usually want to go to his basement. Thank you. That's alright. After all, we are not even related. I know you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. Um, I really don't like the, where this is going, people. I really, really do not. What could this guy have in store for us in his basement? Uh, okay. I don't like this. Is he making me bury a body or is this for my body? I, I really don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> let's check this out. Can we pick any of this up? Nope, we cannot. So let's follow this guy who went through this cave over here. Why is there a cave under his house? What the hell's going on here? What? Oh dear. Um, right, let's... Nope, we are still following him. This is getting a bit spooky, people. I honestly have no idea where this is going. And I really don't like it, as I've already said. But I would, f I think I need to emphasize this. So, buddy. No, I don't like this. Can we leave now, please? <laughs> I found proof of a great treasure. What? Holy shit. A huge hole. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. Uh, yeah, um... Uh... We can turn back now, but... I'm going to. Let's see where this guy can take us to. Holy shit! What the hell? It's a demon made out of gold? If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. What buried treasure? I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy for greedy thoughts, huh? Um, okay. Can I check this out? A golden statue is glowing strangely. And that's it. Wow. So this guy had gold under his house. That's, um, that's good. And we can't nick any of it, so it's pretty much useless to us. He wouldn't even give us any. Come on. We, we know his secret, so... Why did he bring us down there? Does he? Have, he has leverage on us now to a point. Be, well, not leverage on us. We have leverage on him. To be fair, if we told anyone about his golden statue, they'd surely be after it. But let's get on out of here. So that's pretty much it. That's a bit of a waste of time, I guess. Oh well. Yet another snake. Did he get the ambush on us? Or does that mean we have to fight it? No, it does not. And it is tamed already. But. Now, I think we are going back to the city of Onnit, or we could take his advice and go home. Maybe there's something there now, maybe that activated something back at our house. I think I'll go check that out, actually. So, this crow's giving us a bit of problems here, we keep missing it. It's quite a fast fucker, isn't he? 30 HP and it has been tamed. 
And we got a present, a cookie, booyah. And now let's make our way back home, hopefully. There shouldn't be any more enemies around here, I don't think, until that snake ambushes us. And it's red screen, oh what? So we have to fight it if he gets the opening attack on us. That, I guess that makes sense. But because we are so strong, we can just simply one shot it and tame it. I've decided also not to cut out any of the battles because I've also been told that there's not too many of the same enemies, especially once you leave on it. I'm not too sure about that though, so I might think of it in the future, but because this is mainly a blind LP, I don't really see much tr If it gets too much, of course, to a point where 20 minutes of the video is just constant fighting, I will cut out some of the battles. So here we are, back at home. What is here? Can we talk to our mother? Hello, what's going on? You're back. Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some steak and scoot up to bed. What? Holy shit, I love this parent. She's the best. Holy crap. We get steak and sleep? Crap. Well, I'm guessing we've got full health now. So let's get Akon out of here and begin our journey once again. Could we see that guy again? I wonder if maybe something else has happened, but at the same time we're just heading back and forth. So if I hear anything later on about that guy, I might go back and see him, but for now I want to go back to Onnit and see what's going on there. Maybe something else has happened. Since it seems as though every time we do something, something else activates, as I'm guessing it will, because most games usually work like that. So, back to on it. Where is this hula hooping fucker? If I remember rightly, he should be down the right hand side, or the middle, I'm not too sure. But let's head deeper into the town because we didn't go too far in. And there's taxis going full speed. Holy shit, I'm just happy that didn't run us over. Right, well, why is there butterflies? Can we talk to it? Come back here. Oi, fuck it, fight me. Oh shit, what? Um, the hell? Uh, is it an alien killing me? No, it's not. The magic butterfly made me relax. What? Okay. Um, and here we go. These are the sharks, if I remember rightly. Can we talk to him? Do you want to meet Frank? You don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? Oh, shit. So we can activate these battles. Okay. It's a pogo stick, fucker. Let's kick the crap out of him. <laughs> Die. Oh, shit. He's attacking. 12 damage. Not as bad as that other guy, though. He took 20 off us. And we can only deal 22 damage so far. This isn't looking too good. Oh, he became tame and we are victorious. Huzzah. We gained 15 XP, that's quite a lot in comparison to the wildlife of this area. We got a present, a hamburger, I wonder how much health that gives us. Well, we're going to check out now because I don't think we could take on another battle without getting killed. And here's the game arcade, so we're going to check that out as well, don't get run over by the fucking truck, god damn it. Right, uh, had, nope, that's not the menu, that is not the menu, nope, there we go, that is the menu, I can't believe I forgot that for a moment. Let's see a hamburger and see how much life it gives us. Oh, what? It maxed our HP? Okay, from now on, I will remember to keep hamburgers about. Let's talk to this fucker. Okay, uh, yes, talk. Do you want to start a fight or what? Well, I guess so. Fucker, bring it. Okay, this guy's got a skateboard, and this isn't gonna go well, I'm guessing, because he's going to most likely have speed on his side, as he does. 27 damage though, he seems weak among the other one, but can deal a lot more damage out. One more hit and we're dead. But thankfully, the skater punk is now tamed. What? We're getting so much XP and we're not even levelling up. I'm really quite surprised by this, in all honesty. We need more goods. Right, what do we have? We have a shit ton of cookies, but we'll drink some coffee and see what that does. 12 HP, not bad. Let's maybe eat one more cookie just so that we have a bit more health because I'm thinking of taking on a quite a few sharks this episode. I'm not sure how many are left even because we have fought off quite a few already and I can't see any more in the immediate proximity. But let's check out the game arcade, see if there's anything inside of it. Oh shit, there's a lot of sharks in. Oh crap, it was you. You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You'd best just beat it. Oh shit, at least he didn't get the drop on us because that could have been dangerous. Right, beat this fucker up. Oh, 19? Holy crap, this guy could kill us. Don't get a crit, he missed us. And he has become tamed. Do we level up? We've got quite a lot of XP, come on. we got a present, a hamburger, yes. 
And we are now level 5. Offense went up, vitality went up, IQ went up. Maximum HP and so on and so on and so on. Holy shit, did anyone see that? We got a boost of 12 XP, crap. I wonder if the hamburger will still give us max health. I'm wondering if it's one of those items which will always give you max health, but so early on in the game I couldn't imagine it. So it just gives us a lot of health so far, I'm going to say. I'm not going to take its word that it will heal us up fully in late game, because obviously as the late game progresses, HP is going to go up and so on. Uh, uh, you sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lippy, or I'll kick your butt. Okay, um, I thought he was going to fight me. I thought he was a bit scared of me since I kicked all his friends' asses, but oh well. Hey kid, do you want to become a member? Uh, let's say no for now. Don't be such a snob. Okay, so here we go. Maybe this is the battle to face the big old boss. Because it looks as though he's guarding a door, and it's a hula hooping fucker, so we have to be careful here. 20 damage. These guys seem to be the most dangerous ones of all, the fucking hula hoop fuckers. But he has become tamed, and we are victorious. 60 health, I've just noticed, we have at max, which is a lot, really, if you think about it. Oh, this looks as though this could be the boss. Um, right. Before we take him on, or even check if he is the boss, I want to see... Well, I want to eat this cookie, get 5 HP, so we are currently on 45 HP. We could die here, I warn you. But we're going to take it, we're going to give it a chance. I'm Frank, you are... Come on, can't you at least say your name? No. Okay, so here we go. This looks as though it's a boss battle and he's got fucking knives. Okay, I like the music as well, it's pretty cool. Right, let's kick Frank's asshole. 17 damage, not as bad as the hula hoop fuckers still. Right, come on. Oh shit, 34 HP and we are dead. Crap. Okay, it seems as though getting at least one death per episode is becoming quite common, but I did not realise the boss would be that difficult, even though I should have realised. Okay, so I'm not too sure what to do now, because he is quite difficult. 34 HP? Oh shit, yet another dog? Can we take out in one hit now? No we cannot, we still have to face these enemies in combat! But now it is tamed. I'm going to pick up some supplies, I think, for facing him, because we can take him on if we have some extra health on our side, but with the current health we have, there's no way in hell we can beat him. Let's fight this dog just to see if we can get an ex some extra XP to level up. So maybe if we get to level 6, maybe we will then have the advantage. But I'm not making any promises, because I have no idea what level you should be taking on this boss at. I could even wander the arcade for a bit more, maybe if I beat some more of those bloody sharks we can take on the boss with a bit more ease. You know, just kind of levelling up, getting better at it, getting some... Maybe we'll get some more moves maybe, that would be interesting because currently at this moment in time we only have bash. So it would be nice to see if we can get any better moves. Oh, nope, wrong way fucker. Let's go back in. A bit of an accident there. Okay. Off to the burger shop. What do you have for me today? Hamburgers pretty much give us full health, but the $14, meaning we could only buy two. So I'm thinking maybe one hamburger. Oh, one hamburger, a bag of fries. So I'm not too sure if we should be saving money or not. And a cup of coffee. So we've got quite a lot of HP regen if we do need it. But I don't think we will need all of it but I'm guessing we will at least need to use one of it. Most likely the hamburger if we get on low health. So back to the arcade we go. Which way is it? We should really consult the map. But yeah, I'm going to consult the map because I have no idea where I'm going. So it's down here on the right. We nearly got run over by a taxi, which is not good. Not good at all. Police station. Maybe we can talk to them. Let's see. Let's see what's going on in the police station. I would rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. You're working at a desk. Tough shit. Man, am I steamed. Don't even try talking to me. Wow, these police are so nice, aren't they? I thought police were supposed to be helpful, you fuckers. The townspeople are in a state of confusion. At times like this, riots break out, or people start attacking wild. So we police are being ultra cautious. Well, your police force is shit. Right, let's see what's in here. 
or maybe we aren't supposed to be here. This looks as though this is the jail. Hello, Psst. I'm not really one of the gang, I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. Um, I guess. Hey, I'm in here, go and find another can. Ha, huh, I was just joking. Okay. Um, right. Maybe we shouldn't talk to the prisoners, and it's just an empty room. So, let's get on out of there. Maybe that's the interrogation room now I'm thinking about it. It could possibly be. But, I think we've explored the police station enough. There doesn't seem to be anything interesting in there. So, let's get back to the arcade, if I remember it, where it is. The bakery's there, but we have no more money anymore, because we are poor. Oh, oh shit. Yep, we are fighting this guy. Thankfully, he didn't get the jump on us. But it's another skate punk. Shit, die. 9 HP? What? That wasn't a lot of damage at all. What's going on? Maybe we've got a bit more resistance to them now that we fought a few. Or it could just be that our level is a bit higher than theirs. Meaning they deal less damage to us. Because the XP for them seems to be getting lower and lower. Okay, anything around here? This is the hospital, if I remember rightly. I wonder... Yeah, let's go inside it. But first, let's talk to this guy, because this guy seems familiar somehow. The point overlooking the sea has beautiful scenery. It's over that way. Such a beautiful place. Gets me all choked up. Well, good for you. We'll check that out at some point as well, I guess. So here we are, the hospital, and these people look a little weird. Hello, and you are... Say, have you ever suffered from some type of sickness or condition that you couldn't get cured at a hospital? For example, being diamondized, the hell? Where your head gets as hard as a diamond, or mushroomized, where you have a mushroom on your head. If you are ever stuck with these types of embarrassing conditions, we of the Magic Healing Shrine are here to ease your pain. We're ready and waiting. I'm in the lobby of hospitals all over the world. Wow, that's convenient. The person next to me is the great teacher of magic healing. Oh, I wonder if he can teach us something. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. Well, that person over there told me, so I guess I do believe you. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Do you need some help? Uh. Not at this moment in time. Hmm, come back when necessary. So, at least, that, that's convenient. If we ever get damaged by, for example, unconventional attacks, we can talk to them. Um, shall I explain about the hospital system? Yeah, go on. We need, we'll need to know this at some point. If a good friend of yours becomes unconscious, come to the hospital right away. As long as you have money for the doctor's fee, you'll be able to see your friend completely recovered in no time. God damn you, America! Besides being unconscious, and you're... Healthcare, damn it! <laughs> Besides being unconscious whenever you don't feel free, you feel so well, come and talk to a doctor. Everything I just told you applies to hospitals all over the world. So pretty much the hospital concept is pretty much the usual as you would expect. They heal you up and your comrades, but you have to pay because it's America, as I just said, America. But um, let's see what this old lady's got for us. When I came to visit my friend at this hospital, I somehow slipped and fell in the hallway. So now I'm staying in the hospital too. This could be the basis for a great tragic tearjerker. Well, maybe not. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything in here. I'm not even going to bother talking to these people. I'm trying to find a doctor in all honesty. Uh, this guy kind of looks doctory. Welcome to Honest Hospital. I run the place. Ah, gotcha. Sorry. I'm just a patient here. Oh, really? That's, that's kind of illegal. Um, okay, moving on. Don't talk to the crazy people. Let's just get on out of here. What's through here then? Maybe this? We can talk to a doctor through here? And yes, we can. Hello there. I can examine each one of your, each one of you for twenty dollars. Um, we only have five dollars at the moment, so pretty much this guy's going to be healing us around the world. I'm guessing it's just going to be the same guy in each hospital. I heard that around here, our doctor is number one. He he he. Well, usually the head doctor should be number one if it's the only hospital in town. There shouldn't just be random people walking the streets who are better doctors, that wouldn't really make much sense because you would be hiring them instead. I wonder if there's any of these guys wandering the pizza place. Open soon, Mac Pizza on it branch. Oh, I wonder why they're closed. Maybe it's because of these fuckers wandering here. Um, so we're not going to take on the boss just yet, we're going to go upstairs and see if there's any other guys we can fight. Holy crap, there's quite a few. 
Frank has an incredible powerful weapon. If you get your hands on it, I bet you can stand against any enemy. I'm guessing that's the knives, possibly. Spit, 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 saliva, spit, spit. Okay, I'm guessing I wasn't supposed to read that. Do you want some gum? Get your own, twit. Wow, so friendly. Much nice. When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? Heh, <laughs> heh. I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I obviously have total confidence in my own abilities. So, are you ready to get it on, Spanky? Um... No, no, not in slightest. But it's another skater dude. You shouldn't be skating in stores, mate. That's a bit dangerous. The skate punk hold. Oh shit! Oh dear. Um, we might die here. Oh dear. Okay, this really isn't good. We need to heal up. Come on. Where is it? Hamburger. 18 damage. Holy crap. What? We healed up? But I'm guessing he got the jump on us. Shit. If we can't take on two of these guys at once, what hope do we have of taking on the boss? We really don't have much at this moment in time. So once again, we are back at the house. You know what? I would say we would stop here. But I want to really take on this boss this episode. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to win, but I would like to give it at least one more try. But there's no way in hell we can take on that boss without taking on these guys. So we're going to take them on once again and hopefully be victorious. And maybe that will give us enough levels to take on the boss. That's what I hope at least. Or next time to take on the boss at the very least. Well, at the very most, but at least. Ah, ah, fuck. Okay, here we go. Yet another battle. Oh shit, the double teaming us. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, this could be bad. We, we can't take on two at once. Surely we can't. But that's one down, so maybe we do have a chance. When it, they keep missing. And we're dealing a shit ton of damage to them. So I'm happy about this. And we have won. That should be a shit ton of XP. It is 28. And we got a hamburger. So that means full health. Our health will fully regen now. And we should be able to take on the enemies inside. Two hamburgers, cookies, fries. Holy shit, this is a banquet, really? Banquet? <laughs> oh dear. So it does seem as though, even with 60 HP, the hamburger, hamburger, yes, the hamburger will regen our health fully. Oh, can we talk to this guy? <laughs> you sound like a real whiner to me. Okay, this is the same guy we've talked to before. Okay, if you're not going to put your fi fists up, your fangs up, what the fuck am I talking about? If you're not going to fight me, piss off. <laughs> okay, I'm being a bit harsh there. So this is the guy we fought before, and we are going to most likely have a double battle here yet again, since this guy is coming up my butt, as usual. It's always nice, very nice. Die, skate punk. I don't know why skateboarding inside, because it's not exactly a good environment to be skateboarding anyway, because it's 60 HP, holy crap. That is the best critical I've seen so far. So let's take on the second guy now, I'm guessing. Let's see if we can take him on. Hopefully his friend doesn't join us this time. Okay, so that guy's not fighting us. Maybe this guy will then. Okay, he likes drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables. Okay, that, that's smart, but not exactly what I would expect from a gang. But, oh well, you can't judge people on their appearances, I guess. You never can. Never judge people on their appearances because you never know there might be a pe nice person inside. Well, that's a lot of bullshit. No, I'm kidding. Right, let's eat these fries and our HPs at max yet again. So, before I conclude this episode, I'm going to try and take on this boss one more time. And why is there a robot on the right, to the right of me with a spatula for a hand? I do not know. So here we are once again, Frank the evil fucker, the big old boss, we are taking him on. I'm not sure if we can win this or not, and is Frank a woman? Um, he might be. Um, okay. Right, let's bash him to death, come on. Frank said something nasty. Oh dear, we lost something, but I'm not too sure what we actually lost. 32 HP, that's over half our health, we need to heal now. Um, cup of coffee maybe. Oh god, shit. Oh, what? Right, let's bash him to death, come on. So it seems as though he will attack us and then say something, and that's the way this battle's going to go. Hopefully he doesn't attack us first. Oh, and he did, and we are dead. Oh dear. So, um, this battle's giving me a run for my money. 
and it doesn't seem as though I'm going to be able to do this this episode. So it might take some some more battles with some of his minions to level up a bit more, which I might do off screen even, I'm not too sure. It's just that we are battling a lot recently and I don't want you all to just continuously watch me grinding. So next time we will hopefully take on the big old boss Frankie. But for now, I will see you guys next time for more Earthbound.